Hi guys, it's Eric. In previous videos, we talked a lot about what activated carbon is, how it works, and how it's made. So today, we're gonna to talk about its applications and what it can actually do. One of the main applications of activated carbon is its use in drinking water. And it can be used to remove a whole host of different contaminants that we don't want ending up in our bodies. And that's what makes activated carbon really cool, is that it can remove all of these compounds at the same time. Some of the compounds that it can remove one is pesticides that come from runoff in farming and uh, in rural areas. You don't want that in your water and activated carbon can remove those compounds. Other compounds are known as, can be known as PFAS or per and polyfluoroalkyl substances. These are fluorinated compounds that are used in non-stick coatings. You obviously don't want that in your water, but activated carbon can remove those as well. Other sources of industrial contamination, like chemical spills, that result in volatile organic compounds ending up in your water, activated carbon has been removing those compounds for decades. It's really well established and works really well to help keep you safe when things like this happen. And then finally, in water treatment, we use a disinfectant like chlorine or other disinfectants to help prevent diseases like typhoid and cholera. So those disinfectants interact with other compounds that are in the, that are in the water and you can form disinfection byproducts or DDPs, which are other harmful compounds. What activated carbon does is remove those compounds so that we continue to use those disinfectants so we don't get sick. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you learned something from it. If you did, please make sure to check out our other videos and comment below for other topics that you'd like to hear about. Finally, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when our next video comes out. Thanks, see you next time.